This is my ultimate R4 card. I can use it to play NES, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, DS games, and many others. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you all a tour of my R4 card. Anyways, I'm Anton, and let's get started. So this is my main R4 card. It works on every Nintendo DSi and 3DS, and none of these systems have any custom firmware installed, so this one cartridge is doing everything. I've got a slightly older one, but it doesn't really matter as they are all essentially the same product, so don't let newer versions fool you. So after turning on the system, this is my R4 menu. I'm using YS menu, which allows me to conveniently access all files on my microSD card. Recently, I created my own custom theme, which looks fantastic, and I may create a future video on how you can make your own, it's very easy. But that's not all, as YS menu also allows me to play Game Boy Advance ROMs on the actual hardware and even prevent the time bomb. If you don't know what a time bomb is, it's something that manufacturers will put in the card to make it stop working after some time. But with YS Menu, we can completely prevent it. And if you have an R4 card that is not working, you should try using YS Menu, as it may fix the issue if the firmware is compatible. Next, let's take a look at my emulators. There are plenty of different ones for all kinds of systems. First, we've got NESDS, which runs, guessed it, NES games. It works really well, even if you have some squished pixels due to the resolution of the Nintendo DS. Yeah, Mario isn't looking quite right. Pretty much all games work on this emulator, including ones from all sorts of regions. But I can play Mr. Gimmick on the Nintendo DS, and that's very good. Next, we have SNV- Ugh. Next, we have SNA Mule DS, which is kind of hard to pronounce, but it's basically a Super Nintendo emulator, and it works pretty well. Not all games function as intended, or if at all, so yeah, you do have some graphical issues, inaccurate music, broken effects, and much more. And some of the games just crash, so yeah, it's not, it's not perfect, but it mainly does run smaller ROMs. Sometimes you will get lucky though. For example, certain ROM hacks or Humber games may work perfectly, such as New Super Mario Land. Next, we have Lame Boy, which is a Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulator. Except that it's not really lame, I don't know where they got the name from, because it pretty much runs every Game Boy game. It can even apply Super Game Boy features, which is quite impressive. Most ROM hacks also do work, however, I have had issues with certain ones. Next, we have GBA Runner 2 which isn't technically a Game Boy Advance emulator because it's more of like a loader that's running the games on the actual hardware. But whatever, I'm just gonna put it in this section of the video because I don't know where to put it. But anyways, this is very impressive as it allows you to run almost any Game Boy Advance game on any Nintendo DSi or 3D system you'd like. So you don't need an ambassador certificate to enjoy these games and you can play most titles instead of the limited ones from Nintendo. Most games do work, however, some have unsynced music, some crash, and some have broken effects. But you can play games such as Pokemon Ruby, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and wait, do not show that one! I've even got a few other emulators, such as Genesis DS, SADS, and even Stella DS. And there are plenty of others that you can also explore. Next, let's get into the DS content itself, such as all the different games, ROM hacks, and original homebrew titles. R4 cards are so much better to bring along with you, as you don't need to bring all of your games. I can play Super Mario 64 DS, New Super Mario Bros., Pokemon Platinum, Mario Kart DS, and much more. You can even play games from different regions, such as Chibi Robo Clean Sweep and Tomodachi Collection, and these are actually the English patched versions too. And yes, speaking of ROM hacks, you can play ones such as newer Super Mario Bros. DS, Mario Kart CDGP Nitro, and even Super Mario Sunshine DS. And of course, you can even play original homebrew games such as Smash Bros Ultimate, Mario Craft, which is pretty much like a Mario Maker, and even DS Craft, which is literally a Minecraft clone on the DS that is super impressive. There are also plenty of applications to check out. Colors DS is a drawing application, Nitro Tracker is a music creation software, and Nintendo's allows you to run Windows XP on your system, sort of. And there are a bunch of really weird ones, so yeah, if you do want to check out some of the games and apps that I have mentioned, check out GameRoo.org, which I will link in the description. R4 cards are truly awesome. They really do unlock the power of the 3DS and DSi systems, and allow for some really cool uses. Now, if you want to learn more about everything R4, do make sure to hit the subscribe button to see future videos heading your way. I have a lot of cool stuff planned, and you won't want to miss it. And if you do have any questions or concerns, do make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.